What's up, people? I already took my hair out and stuff. Like, you can kind of see it's wavy. I took, it was in a braid. <laughs> I got that Celtic hair going right now. So, I'm just going to tuck it and we're going to pretend it's not back there. But if you see it, I don't have a mullet, okay? I'm just I'm doing cartoon me. I need to talk about this. And I swore I wasn't. And I went so long without getting into this. And everyone's like, what was it? What was the thing that made you snap? And just be like, fuck it! I'm doing a video! What am I even talking about? By the way, I forgot to tell you. We're talking about Conor McGregor, okay? I used to be a diehard. I still am, okay? I just, you know, I'm all kumbaya and shit now. And Conor harsh is fat mellow because... I didn't even watch his last three fights because I was trying to be a shaman and I just failed epically in my shamanism by just being like, mm, I'm gonna shut up, mm, don't do it, fuck this, and then shit happens and I resort to beast mode. And it's not, you know, just a counter, I just, I'm very defensive of my Celtic people. I used to be a queen once. I don't give a fuck who thinks that. It's weird. Anybody that I know is Celtic. Even the new Spider-Man guy. The young one, Tom. Or what's his name? I don't fucking know. He's cool though. Sorry, I'm bad with names. I heard someone talking shit and I turned around and said, You better shut up. He's Irish. And I'm in this room. Shut up. People talked about Ed Sheeran once. I was like, His grandma is Irish. Didn't you hear the song? Shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I really did say that. Who the fuck? Let people know. Don't be talking about no Irish people in front of me. They're the only ones that are loyal to my crowd. Well, fuck. I fuck people up for stupid shit. On St. Patrick's Day especially. Hey, Irish, why the fuck would I want to be Irish? Why are you out at our fucking parade drinking green beer, motherfucker? Sit down have some goddamn respect. Why are you here? That's me. I don't give a shit. I don't play. They might have took my crown and my country, but they will never take my fucking mouth, bro. I'm American this time. But my spirit is always Irish. And we just have this, oh, I can't. <laughs> my real face came out. I can't hide that. It's just in there. It's in there. So, a lot of my rage was, people just be hating on Irish people, you know? It's just, it's just like a thing. Like they like to make fun of us for, you know, alcoholism. But, you know, it is America that has a bar on every corner. And, you know, Great Britain has like double that. So, it's not, you know, our fault. Besides, we drink fucking whiskey, duh. Might have a Guinness here and there, but every true Irish person I know has a glass of whiskey in their hand. So, we are not responsible for beer drinking. Shenanigans. Only whiskey shenanigans. I'm getting off topic. <sighs> I'm stalling because I have not done my research. I won't lie. I'm just going to straight defend him. I'm blind. I don't give a fuck. Because if I look into it, <sighs> my eyes are going to get big and I'm going to be like on the computer. Listen, motherfucker. Hide behind your fucking screen, you little pussy. Yeah, don't say words like that. We don't want that version of me back. So I just, I'm not going to look, okay? I'm just not going to look because now I'm, I wish you well. I get it. It's, you know, a competitive sport. Everybody has a side. Calm down, self. Calm down. Breathe. Do your breathing. Do it before you punch them. This is the conversation I have in my brain. I cannot watch fights. Because there's no zen about that. I just get amped. Get amped. I get pumped. <laughs> I'm in the corner like, fucking knock him out. This is boring. Can you kick him in the face? Please? One time, just, you know, big toe, right? Just, just do it. I would laugh. Put some expression on your big toe slice. <laughs> I get weird. I like this cartoon. Anyway, so everyone's like talking shit, right? The one thing that made me do a video, and this is my face when I heard it. It's like, what the fuck is that motherfucker doing? He's like hugging trees and shit. He's like literally hugging trees. This is me.
<laughs> I do weird shit like that too. Only I do it in the woods. I'm not a famous person. No one gives a fuck when I do it. I'm like, whatever. That bitch is weird. And I was like, but I was like, the, I don't know what I expected them to come out with. I don't know. Drinking with some hoes. I don't know. Taking sketchy photos. I thought something like that because that's what I've been hearing. I try to ignore it, but I eavesdrop like a motherfucker when they talk about Connor. I'm like, this is me. I'm like eating my lunch. I'm watching the Monk Soccer like you. Yeah. I'm a spy. I do shit like that. I like it. But I sit there and I just jab my salad a little bit harder and I pray for peace. It's, it's a hard. It's hard to separate lioness from. I don't even know what to call this version of me. Ah, praying Nancy. I'm not that flexible anymore. I don't think I can be that. <clears throat> anyway, so I looked into this. It's a video. I think it was like, I don't know, YouTube or Instagram or something like that. I get sent a lot of shit about Connor and I have to ignore it. I used to, like, be in the know. And ever since he announced he was fighting, everyone's like, huh, oh, what's going on? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I haven't watched the last three fights. I had to put him on the shelf. I had to. I just been. I'm not explaining myself. Everybody can fuck off. I don't need to explain why. I'm taking a break. Okay? <laughs> Does anything I do ever make sense to any of you? Yeah, pretty sure it doesn't. But I get the tree hugging thing and the walking barefoot. I'm a holistic healer and I fully support this. He's getting grounded. Not like grounded in trouble, like grounded like Zen, like me. Like, me, but. He's better than me because he can still be in the fight world and be zen. I can't do it. Don't look at me, motherfucker. <laughs> you want to fight? I don't care. I hate that arena. All the, like, I don't know about UFC. I ain't ever been up that high, you know, but all the fight bitches. Like, you can't even go watch your man. The other bitches grilling you. I'm like, what? Do you think this is your job too, honey? I do this for fun. Don't fuck with me. Watch the fucking match, stupid hoe. I don't got time for you. I will talk after the fight. Shh. I can't. Like, I'm trying to watch. <sighs> now you want to fight with me, bitch. You picked this opportunity when both of our men are busy to fuck with me. I can end this real fast. How much do you pay for that nose job? Hmm? Fuck off. I can't be in that arena. I'm not that person anymore. This will be me if I ever go to a fight. Akuna you've come so far. You can do it. <sighs> Close your mouth. Don't tell people. Oh, don't do it. Why am I so violent in the audience? Like I'm the one fighting. I'm such a weirdo. But at least I know. I know that I cannot be an appropriate lady and a UFC crown. I turn into a straight allergy, meaning I swear horribly, and I will cut a bitch. Like I'm a legit crazy. Don't poke the beast, motherfuckers. And I have capped that girl and put her in a box. So I'm only gonna talk about this tree hugging thing and nothing else, because I can't research. Because I get hyped and I tell people off, and then I'm back to my old ways. I'm not a fighter anymore. I'm a lover. I just want to be a lover. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to come up with a comedic. You know, I'm gonna have to just be funny through this next match. I don't know how to be calm. And I promised I would watch this time, but I don't know if I'm going to because as long as he keeps his word about the no drinking, I don't like bad press. I don't like people who, you know, everybody's broken in some sense. I don't like it displayed in front of me. I'm like, ugh, do the healing. I'm always rooting for the best. I hope he does it. He's done millions of miracles and surprises. I like this new one. Keep hugging trees. I think it's great. Good for you. Because you know what? You can't manifest if you're not grounded. FYI. And he is a pretty good manifester. He says it and he does it. So, maybe you should take notes. Motherfucker! Deuce. I'm out.